Hey everyone. <coughs> I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. Um, I've been kind of busy with school, with finals and everything, and studying, trying to pass, which I did. I don't know how, but I did. But um, I've noticed I've been getting some comments on my suit, Charlie, and how I need to brush him. I'm just telling you right now, um, I do brush him a lot, or when I can, but when I do brush him, it's just I don't really touch him a lot, so when I brush him, I just leave him there. I don't touch him, but he always ends up looking like that. Or you see it? Like, like this. And it, it looks, the fur is fine, it's perfectly undamaged, it's, it's just the type of fur that I use. I got this pile a long time ago. This type of fur is called Mongolian fur, so it's two, two and a half inches longer. This is called shaggy fur, which most of this is on the shelf. I don't think I have any more Mongolian, but I get shaggy now because back then I didn't know any better. The Mongolian fur was about five dollars cheaper. This shaggy fur will not um, clump together, I guess you can say, like this does. Even though it's brushed, it just looks like that. Shit, there is wide differences between the different types of fur that you can get. I don't use this. I don't use that fur anymore for obvious reasons. It looks really ugly on suits, especially. On some heads, I have Mongolian on his new head because I did say that I got a new yard of fur, but that new yard of fur, it is the same exact color code. It's just that... It is actually a shade lighter for some reason because, I don't know, I guess over the years the colors alter with the maker of the fur. But this is Mongolian in dark camel. So I used the old fur that I still had from his suit from a long time ago and I made it on his new head. So if it does seem tangly, it is not. It is perfectly soft. It just, I guess, coagulates like this. We're not talking about blood, Kodo. What are you even talking about? It's like the best word I can describe. It coagulates like this. But I can try to find... This is the fur yard that I use. And it's going to be really ugly because I don't take care of the yards. I just fold them up. Yeah, it's it's disgusting. It looks like pubes. I know. It is really soft. It, like, you would think it would feel rough and disgusting, but it's not. It's really soft. This is exactly how the fur is supposed to look. Do not get this fur for suit making, unless you were trying to make, like, a yak or something like that, where the fur just looks like this. It would make a really cute, messy hair piece, I guess, for your fursuit, if you want to have that kind of looking hair. There are methods of straightening this and taming it where it's not all curly like this. I wouldn't recommend it. I just I just go the extra money and get shaggy fur. But Mongolian, it just it just does this. I'm sorry. Like I know it bothers you a lot. <clears throat> it bothers me too to see people with their fur suits and it looks really disgusting. But actually my suit is starting to not fit anymore and it's starting to get really tight on me. I don't know why. I haven't gained any weight. In fact, when I made the suit, I weighed 98 pounds, and the last time I went to the doctor, I now weigh 95. For an 18-year-old, that's, that's really bad, I know. But I'm really small. It's just how I was born. I was, I was always this way since I was little. I'm not becoming the next Eugenia Cooney where I'm like 60 pounds, and I'm like, oh no, I'm just naturally this way. But like, no, I have muscle. It's just, I have the body index of a 12-year-old, literally. I have clothes in my closet from when I was in 6th grade that I still fit in today. I have not grown. Uh, it's a long story. Let's just say I was a premature baby. I've always been this small. Nothing to it. But I have been gaining muscle mass in my thighs, and my legs are too, they're way too tight for me, and starting to get to where it starts to rip and the fabric starting to stretch and get weak. So I'm not going to be selling this suit because one, it's ugly with the Mongolian fur and it's kind of damaged from stretching with my thighs and walking around and tumbling around during Saint Japan and everything. So most likely going to destroy it just like any infamous video on my channel. I already have two. 
Well, I think I only have one now. Like, the other one, the 666, I privatized because personal reasons. I know I'm mean to my ex. I'm I'm a really mean person. Like, I'm, I'm nice. Like, you can talk to me, okay? Look, talk to me. DM me. I'm really, really nice. But, like, don't be mean to me because I'm not going to be nice to you back. That's just how it is. Treat others the way you want to be treated. But, yeah, so, um, this suit isn't fitting anymore. It's ugly. I know. I brush it. Let's brush it right now. As you can see, the Mongolian, it is, it is really pretty. It is really long. When you shave this Mongolian fur, it doesn't look any different, actually. It's, it's still, it still clumps together, sort of. When it is shaved, it looks more of a long pile fleece. It still clumps together, as you can see from a far distance. But, um, Yeah. Shaving it doesn't do any justice. You have to tame it through heat, and you have to be careful using heat because, well, it melts. This just melts so easily. Brushing it, all it does is separate the fibers. Just like any other way of brushing your hair, if you have curly hair, you know this pain. I bring this brush with me to cons every single time, and whenever I take breaks, which is like every 30 minutes because I live in Texas, and I'm trust me, I'm not even used to the heat, I cannot take the heat of a fursuit. I can only stay in here 25 to 30 minutes, and every time I take a break, I brush it. I really do. I don't like taking pictures with the fur looking like this. It is it is really nasty looking. Um, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I try. I really do try. But I am throwing the suit away, unfortunately. It's, it's run its course. It's super old. I built it. I built the legs sophomore year, and this top... Last year, in 2015, this is 2014, and this top is 2015. It's not that old, but growing out of it, surprisingly, from weight gain. If you want it, I mean, I don't know why you would want this suit. It is digitigrade. It has no lining on the inside. Um, front zipper, hand-stitched. The entire thing is hand-stitched. I did. It has a quilt stitch and a straight stitch between the two seams right here so there is no stretching in the quilt stitch the quilt stitch is simply there for security just in case it rips you can see it here better the straight stitch that is along the quilt stitch if you want to buy it i am an extra small top and a zero jean size so if you have um i'm also five five three five four somewhere around that so if you are that same size, you can email me, you can DM me through Google+, Plus. you can find me on my Instagram, my link to social media, so you can DM me if you want to buy this. But if no one wants it, I am destroying it and throwing it away or whatever because I just, I'm just going to make a new one. In time, I will make a new one, but in, in that case, I'm just going to make a partial. <sighs> but yeah. If you're ever wondering, wondering, wow, why does your fursuit look like shit all the time? It's because the Mongolian fur and just the way it looks. Just telling everyone in advance who wants to make a suit to get beautiful shaggy fur that is made straight and not curly. And so whichever way you rub it or put friction on it, it will not clump up. Short pile, it is half an inch, a half inch pile. So it might clump together a little bit easier, but these are one and a half. Shaggy is usually one and a half, and it is really rare to get a two inch pile of shaggy because I think any longer than that, it starts to look like that. And that's when Mongolia comes in. Mongolian is two and a half. It is super long. It's really nice, but it will make your first suit look like crap, so. I have videos coming out. Um, I need the help of my boyfriend to get them out, but he refused to do them, so really trying. Um, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, but thank you for watching, and if you're ever wondering, now you know. Advice from Kosu Studios. Don't get Mongolian fur.